To play switch, snitch and steal, you will need 16 peeps and you need to label them with numbers. One, two, and then two with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You'll also need 16 gems and the Think Square overlay, which we'll set it up on now. The world's best thieves have gathered at the annual thieves convention. There is only one rule of this convention, which is don't be a thief. The thieves have come proudly displaying their stealings during the year, which is written on their arms with the number. This is how many gems they've stolen and each thief is bragging about it. Now there are a number of imposters at this convention, which are the players playing this game. If these imposters are exposed, the thieves will cut them up and throw them to the sharks. And the aim of the imposters is to either expose all the other imposters or to possess 24 gems to hire an assassin to poison all of these people so you can steal all their gems. For example, if you were this person, you start with eight gems. If you steal two, you're on 10. If you steal another nine, you're on 19. And then if you steal the final five successfully, you're on 24. That counts. If during the game, your eight got stolen, you would be back eight less than 24. So you'd be on 16 gems. You'd still need to steal another eight to hire the assassin. So if you get to 24, you can hire that assassin and get all the gems in the game. If while you're stealing all these things, people realize who you are, they can expose you and then they can um, reveal who you are. So for example, if you stole the two and the nine and you were this person here, you're on 19 gems, and if this person here exposed you because they're next to you, they, as a reward, would get half of your gems rounded down to the nearest number. So 19 halved is nine and a half, so nine. They would get a nine gem reward for exposing you because um, these are the gems that you had in your possession. You would be knocked out of the game, you'd just sit there, you'd be dead, and um, then that person would need to expose the other thieves in the game. In a two-player game, once they're exposed, you're cut up and thrown to the shark, so you win a two-player game by exposing your opponent. In a three or four-player game, you will just get it gems as a reward. Before we start, I'll let you viewers know my secret number, or secret person, while Tim shuts his eyes. That's my secret person. All right, now Tim's gonna show you his. All right, we're ready to start. Here, we're gonna write our suspects and our score, how many gems we've stolen. Now, we keep our person secret, and the number of gems that we have already is what's written on our person's arm, because no one's had anything stolen. So the game begins, you can either switch, snitch, or steal. Snitching at the moment is a one in 16 chance of getting the right person or one in 15, because you minus yourself. Um, so you would never do that, because you'll lose if you do that. Um, switching and stealing are the two other options that you can take. So I'm gonna start by switching these two players. Remember, you can switch any two players. It doesn't have to be yourself, and they need to be next to each other. So that's my turn. I've switched. Tim's turn now. Can I steal diagonally? Yep. Not diagonally, no. You can only steal if you were this person, those four around you. So Tim just switched also. And now it's back to my turn. This turn, when you steal, all you do is you take the gem off the player you're stealing from, and then Tim needs to decide who the four suspects are for this, this person. So I'll put it down here. I'll show that I've got nine, so I've stolen nine so far, and Tim, now writes down the four suspects around the nine. So those suspects are red two, orange eight, green five, and yellow three. They're the only players that I could be. And now it's Tim's turn. 
So I know that Tim is only one of three suspects here because he's stolen from the person there. So he's either light green nine, he could be red two, or he could be yellow three. So they're, they're the suspects there. Now it's back to my turn. Now this is almost perfectly clever of Tim. If this person still had gems, he would have the exact same three suspects around there and be able to steal from them and not give me any more information. So if this person still had a gem, Tim could steal it and these three suspects that I have for him would still be my only three suspects. I wouldn't narrow it down anything. So that would be amazing if he could manage to arrange the party like that. So I've just stolen again and now I've stolen five. So Tim knows I've at least got 14 gems with my player. So nine and the five. And now he should have narrowed it down to only a few suspects. Who, who can't I be from Tim's list? If, you, if you, uh, he had written red two before, can red two be a suspect in that last steal? No, no they go on orange eight. Yes. Orange eight can be a suspect. Green five can be a suspect and yellow three cannot be. cannot be a suspect. So we're down to two suspects and if Tim were to snitch now, he'd have a 50-50 chance of getting who I am correct. Now Tim's just stolen from orange eight, which means he has to be one of these three around here. Light green nine, he can't be, because that's over there. Red two, he can be. And yellow three, he can be as well. So he could be one of two suspects as well. Mm. So now it's whether I snitch or whether I don't. I have a feeling that Tim is a certain one, but I don't, I'm not sure. So it's risking my life to snitch on him as well. But if I knew he was gonna win next shot, so I know Tim's now on 15 plus either three or two. So he could be on 18 and then 18, if he was on that, he would need another six to win. He's not near a six, so thankfully that's good. If he was this one here, he would need seven to win because 15 plus two is 17 and then plus seven, and he's not near there. So I'll know which one he is based on which one he moves toward him but he can move them both toward there or he might fake me out and then trick me and pretend that he's that one. I, I'm gonna snitch though because I've exposed myself so I need to be next to either the red two or the yellow three so I can only snitch on the yellow three. So I'll snitch on the yellow three, I'll say you're the imposter even though I actually think it's that one. Um, I'm gonna say you're the imposter, yellow three. Wrong. Wrong, so now I get cut up, cut up and fed to the sharks. Ah! And the game's over and Tim wins. Yay. <laughs>